Okay, moving forward, we have our superintendent's report. Thank you, President Maher. It's hard to believe, but we're entering the final eight weeks of the school year. Soon we will be gathering to celebrate the class of 2023, as well as congratulating those who are promoting. These next few months are a busy and stressful time for students, for staff, and for members of our school's communities. This is especially true of our seniors and their families who are dashing between various end of year events. I want to emphasize the importance of checking in on our students and colleagues as we move closer to the end of the school year. A little bit of grace, small acts of kindness, and evidence of patience can go a long way. One of the ways that we check in as a system is through our annual school quality survey, which is open now to all parents, guardians, staff, community members, as well as to students in grades 6 through 12. While the survey covers a diverse range of school climate it, uh, measures, we've been intentional over the last two years in enhancing the focus on uh, student mental health and wellness issues. The voice of our students, families, and staff matter and will help inform how we serve the community. To that end, it's important that we hear from as many of you as possible. Students and staff should check their email and probably their spam folders for an invitation to participate in the survey. Parents, guardians, and community members can visit our website or check our Facebook or Instagram pages for a direct link to the surveys. Please be aware that the survey will be open through next Friday, next Friday, April 21st. So it's important that you take the 10 minute uh, survey as soon as possible in order to provide your input. Equally important is our school safety and police partnership survey through which we're seeking feedback from students, families and staff on our school resource officer program with the city of Pleasanton as well as feedback on school safety on our campuses. Each survey takes 10 minutes or less. We thank you in advance for your participation and support. Um, and I, I, I know we're not going to talk about the comments that were made tonight because it's not a part of the agenda, but I, I do want to say um, thank you to the students who came tonight to talk about the sex harassment issues and trust that we will be calendaring an item on the agenda in the future to discuss it in more detail, including um, the Title IX programs and the difference between a, a behavioral incident and a Title IX complaint. I think it's important that people understand the difference between those two things. Um, but that's only a small step, obviously, in what in the larger piece of work that, that we need to do as an organization. So thank you to Sash and to all of you that came tonight and invested some time here with us. Please join me in wishing both our Foothill and Amador Valley High School competitive civics teams as they head off to Washington, D.C. next week to represent California um, in the National We the People Championship. So looking forward to some positive outcomes there, um, uh, Trustee Kim. Um, we are also looking forward to celebrating both teams and their teachers at a future uh, board meeting. Um, finally, I want to congratulate Alex Chen, our PU at, uh, Pleasanton Virtual Academy Board Representative for his work to publish what I'm sure is his first book, uh, Smart Money Moves, A Teen's Guide to Financial Success. It's available on Amazon. Well done, Alex. Everybody get out your phone and order your book. <laughs> let's, let's shoot his, his book to the top of the list. And that's my report for tonight. Thank you, Dr. Hagman.